Hi, today we are going to take a look at the C700 Spectrometer by Siconic. We have been using this measuring tool for many of our lighting reviews here on Lensvid for the past several months, and we are going to show you why this is such an invaluable tool in your arsenal. So let's take a look. Today we are going to take a look at one of the most useful accessories that we have in our possession in 2017, the Siconic C700 Spectrometer. Before we dive deep into what this instrument can and can do, it is important to understand what it is. The C700 is a light and color measuring unit and is a full spectrum color meter and can precisely measure LED, HMI, fluorescent sources, new style plasma lamps, as well as tungsten lamps, natural light, and even electronic flashes for still shooting. The C700 uses a built-in CMOS sensor, not unlike the one on a digital camera, to capture and display spikes in light source output. It isn't, however, a substitute for a conventional light meter and will not give you the same reading that the digital light meter will with ISO, aperture, and shutter speed values. But Siconic does have a very extensive line of these instruments as well and is probably the most well-known brand in the industry when it comes to light measuring for photographers and videographers. Now let's talk about the build quality and design of this spectrometer. The C700 is very well-built compact unit. It is about 18 centimeters or 7 inches long over 7 centimeters or 2.5 inches wide and is about 2.5 centimeters or 1 inch thick, not including the meter itself. The unit weights about 300 grams or just over 11 ounces and it is very portable. It even comes with a nice belt pouch. Looking at the unit itself, on the left you have the on-off button as well as the memory button which allows you to save the last 10 measurements. On the right side you have the measure button which takes a reading and on the lower part of the device you have a mini USB port for connecting the unit to a computer to view the results. The cable isn't supplied, mind you, but we had an old spare one. We think that Siconic should have gone with a more common micro USB or even USB-C and supply cable with the unit. Next to the USB you can find a sync terminal for connecting flashes, a function that we haven't yet tested with the C700. On the top front of the unit you have a round white light receptor and a three-state light selection ring. Both are rotatable. Below you have the menu button and in the center you have a large 4.3 inch touch display panel. On the back you have a battery cover, the unit is powered by two AA batteries and should last between a few weeks and a few months depending on the type of batteries that you use and how much you use the device. You also have a quarter inch 20 thread which is really useful and we have an RC2 plate permanently attached to the unit and we constantly use it with a monopod or a tripod in our testings. Now let's talk about actually using the C700. We're not going to post a usage guide for this unit, Siconic actually published a very useful two-part video guide which we shall share on our full review on Lensvid. Instead we're going to share some of our experience using the unit over the past six months or so. We use the C700 for two main tasks. The first is giving us precise measurements of the power and quality of different lights that we have been testing here on Lenvid. And the second task is helping us get correct colors for our food channel using different lights and diffusers. We tested quite a few lights using the C700, including the Lishue Edge 1380 AVL, the LEDGO LG D600 and the Intellitech FL80 Flexible LED. For this review we also went back and tested a few of our previous lights that we have reviewed here and we still have such as the LumCube, the Generate LED 7500T and the BBNS Pipeline Reporter. We even tested some of our LED lights around the home and studio with some very discouraging results we might add. And finally we measured the ambient light outdoors just for some good measure, pun intended. Using the C700 is super simple. After a very quick initial setup, including what Siconic called dark calibration, basically putting the light selection ring into calibration mode for a few seconds, something that needs to be done every once in a while, all you need to do is aim the light receptor at your light source, stand at the distance you want to get the measurement from and push the measure button and a second or two later you get the result. We also wanted to see if there is a way to test how accurate the C700 is. The problem here is, how do you measure the accuracy of a measuring device? Well, philosophical issues aside, 
What we have done is talk to one of the leading food videographers here in Israel who works with big productions and large advertisers and basically lives on having spot accurate colors. He works with a different colorimeter that is basically a sensor connected to a laptop and from his experience it is one of the more accurate tools in the industry, although we have to say that working with that thing is far more cumbersome than the C700. We both tested the Lishue Edge 1380 APL Lite and got almost identical readings both in terms of color and locks. He did note that although he never used the C700 himself before, some of his colleagues who did mentioned that you need to be aware of possible variations in measurements in some cases where the ambient temperature goes significantly up or down. So take this for what it's worth. Back to our testing, you can easily store up to 10 measurements and view them or compare them in the unit or download them to the computer using the Seconic supplied software, view or save them for future use. Just make sure that you have the mini USB cable which isn't supplied with the C700. Note that we have published all of these results on our reviews and they are very easy to read. You have 9 main screens on the C700. We mostly use the text screen which shows you a summary of the color temperature, locks reading and CRI as well as correction gels you might need to use with the light you measured in order to reach your target color temperature. This last one is something that we didn't use ourselves so far but is possibly one of the biggest selling points of this unit and if you're working a lot with corrective gels this might be a huge time saver for you. The C700 has a large database of gels for Fujifilm, Lee, Roscoe and Kodak and we believe that more can be added through firmware updates. We actually updated the unit at least once during our use with the supplied Seconic computer software. The two other screens that we have used are the Spectrum screen which is pretty self-explanatory. There is also a similar screen which allows you to compare spectrums between lights and the CRI screen which is super important and give you a breakdown of the CRI based on specific colors marked as R1 through R15. Most lighting manufacturers will only give you the total CRI of a light, say CRI 95, but this does not mean that all of the colors that this light produces are 95% accurate. Far from it. From our testing, we have learned that while a light might have a very high CRI all around, there are two specific wavelengths or colors which are hard to reproduce and these are the R9 or reds and the R12 or blues. Even very high quality lights can find it difficult to get both of these significantly above 90, which can be a problem in many instances where color accuracy is paramount. Food photography and fashion are two good examples. We are obliged to mention that one type of measurement is currently missing from the C700 and that is TLCI. We will have a link to a video we published explaining the differences between CRI and TLCI measuring standards but we did talk to Seconic about that and there is at least a theoretical possibility that they will add it in future firmware update although if this is critical for you we would not necessarily count on that. The battery life of the C700 is great, the screen is easy to read even outdoors to a Agree at least, some reflections are visible as you can see right now on the screen, and the unit is super simple to operate with a touchscreen, although Seconic suggests that if the screen does not register your clicks, you might want to use your fingernail instead of your finger, which can work better at times. So let's conclude this review. The C700 is an outstanding piece of Japanese technology. There aren't too many standalone portable spectrometers on the market and in our testing the C700 proved to be well made, simple to use even without too much background knowledge, accurate at least to our non-scientific comparative test and full features. For us the C700 is simply indispensable. It made all of our lighting tests here on Lensvid to be much more scientific, accurate and consistent and they can now be easily compared so you can see how each light we tested performed compared to previous lights. This is also why we are hoping that Seconic will let us keep this unit for all of our future lighting reviews. At least two of them are actually coming in the next few weeks. Of course reviewing lights is probably not the reason why most of you are interested in this unit and why you might be watching this review. The C700 can do much more, especially when it comes to the ability to easily get accurate colors from every light using gels and working with mixing broad range of different types of light sources on set, something which is simply invaluable for many professionals. 
There is almost nothing missing from this unit, beside maybe the mini USB cable which you probably already have or can easily attain. The only thing which this unit does not have at this moment is a TLCI reading, but as we have mentioned, this is something that Siconic is aware of and might decide to add in the future. Finally, we want to address the price of the C700. This is a professional measuring device and it isn't cheap. At $1500, this is a high-end unit aimed at a truly professional segment of the market, those who make their living from having the best and most precise lights and colors. It would have been great if this unit was selling for $300 or even $500 and in this case we could easily recommend it to most videographers since we know that it can tremendously help anybody who cares about lighting and accurate colors. But at a current price, this is going to stay a specialized tool for higher-end videographers and possibly some photographers as well as lighting technicians and even a few lighting experts working for lighting companies. We actually know of several lighting manufacturers who own a C700 units and work with them on a regular basis. So this was our look at the C700 Siconic Spectrometer. We really hope to continue using this in all of our future reviews if Siconic will allow us. You can read the full review on lensvid.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.